Well, it's a special day. The two of us were able to come out to Whitecaps training and pay a visit to Vanny Sartini and the Whitecaps. You invited, and we're here. Yeah. And we're happy to be here to see our friend. It's been too long. Yeah, if, if, I, if I knew, I would have prepared like some, some yeah, refreshment no, or something. At least a continental yeah. breakfast, huh? Yeah. Something. We're the, we're the yeah. pastries. We're the Danishes. Uh, we're here basically the halfway point of the season. So uh, it's been a tale of two halves within the half, yeah. if you will. Why? Uh, yeah, you know, we we didn't start very well for a bunch of reasons. And, you know, we know we had some problem with preseason. We had some player injured. and uh, But I think the main thing was uh, the fact that uh, we didn't recognize uh, us as a staff and me as a coach that uh, uh, we probably should have played in a different way like we ended last season. Last season we had a lot of uh, success mm -hmm. of being very high pressing, very relentless, very aggressive. And we tried to do the same at the beginning of the season. It wasn't working, so that's the reason why we regrouped. We we decided to make some tweak tactically to talk with the players because you know uh, we need them to believe in what you what you propose to them, and uh, they responded very well. And uh, the second part of the first half of the season was fantastic. We did 20 points in in 10 games and we, we won three rounds of the Canadian Championship. So I think that now it becomes the hard part because now uh, we have to confirm what we've done in, for the last couple of months. And you're still only in the middle. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, and you know, there's a lot of games ahead in the league, like half of the season. Yeah. There's the final to play. And, um, uh, you know, it's, uh, I think we, we found our, I would say, structure, our vibe on the field, our way of playing and our identity uh, so uh, I think we need to keep working on this have you found your best 11 Danny uh, no uh, I have my best 17 18 uh, mm -hmm. I like the uh, those guys are mm -hmm. uh, they're really good lately to put me I would say in trouble on the spot every time that I have to to, to, to choose the starting 11 and uh, you know the fact that mm -hmm. uh, for example uh, now we're going to have a lot of games Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday it gives me the possibility to play a lot of yeah. players because the idea is to play always the players that 100% fit and that also I think allows the competition in training to be better and so it's kind of a, a good cycle and uh, everything's going to get better so mm -hmm. that's it Can we eat now? Can we eat now? <laughs> yeah. Lunch time? For sure. Time for to sure. go to lunch. La la last, sure. question. Yeah. last question. Last question. Last uh, question. The trio, the super trio at the front. We, we got to make it a quad, I guess, with uh, Kubas uh, playing so well. But Galt with your two strikers, Cavallini yeah. and White. People want it so badly to work. It was a little quiet to start. Yeah. Uh, how do you unlock that? Because that would be really fun to see that triangle working. Well, you know, we're working on that. And I think, actually, they did quite well when they played together in the game when someone wasn't playing and someone entered it and we play with the two strikers and attend during the game so we we need to be uh, better on finding the space when the other team is uh, from the start uh, and uh, I would say that more tactically disciplined in the first half so uh, if you're ready to we're working on that and there will be chances for the future to to, to play them together again for sure thanks for doing this oh yeah and then let's go to it it's great seeing you <laughs>